All right, it's goals time, you guys, and I'm super excited because this is one of my favorite things to do. I'm much better at setting goals and actually doing them, although I do try really hard to keep them as well. So if you guys saw my last video on uh, 2019, my wrap up and what I've learned and all that, you know that I kind of put things into categories. And so for my goals this year, I have, again, the four categories, books, events, platform, and then other, because I don't know where to put a lot of the things. But before we go into the specific goals and things for 2020, I really quick want to touch on what I guess you could call my theme for 2020, which is kind of two things, but they go hand in hand, and that is subtract and focus. And so subtract is about, instead of adding goals, constantly adding more things to do, it's about subtracting. What can I take out and stop doing? What are things that do not matter to me that I am just wasting time on? And then plus focus. Um, I want to start pouring my energy into very focused places because I know that these two things combined are going to help me excel at things instead of being spread thin over way too many things that I can't possibly become good enough to do one thing well. I just want to get really, really focused and subtract things from my life that don't matter, that aren't adding value. And so my goal um, above all of these things, if you watch my 2019 wrap up, then you already know this is to just uh, stop feeling so overwhelmed and stop feeling burnt out. I really want to get really, really focused on subtracting and getting focused. So let's go into my little four categories. <laughs> For 2020, the very first thing that I want to do, and I have only told my patrons this so far, I'm super excited to share that I'm going to step into the audiobook world for the first time ever and do an audiobook of The Stolen Kingdom. And so um, I don't know how much to share just yet because this is brand new to me. I'm totally feeling my way in the dark, but I have an amazing narrator all lined up uh, to start recording <laughs> in January, mid-January, and then maybe if all goes well it could be finished by the end of february so that's really exciting um again i've never done this before but i'm super excited about audiobooks and i also made um i will pop it on the screen here a really fun just to like a for fun cover because i think the stolen kingdom cover should probably match the um original as an audiobook but for fun i had this amazing character artwork of Ari by Ingrid Nordley, one of my patrons, and she is amazing, you guys. I should also link her Instagram account below if you want some character art. Um, and so she did this beautiful drawing of Ari, and I kind of put some things together and made this, um, what do you call it, just for fun cover art for the audiobook. <laughs> I'm super excited, obviously. Um, I don't really count that as writing anything because the book is done on my end. All I had to do was choose a narrator and set up the whole book on that platform and then I think I just have to approve it at the end. I don't know, we'll find out. And I can do a video on that when I figure it all out. I have not figured it out yet. Um, but the actual like first real book goal that I have to do work for is to write and publish the Marketing for Authors book four in the series. And so this book, uh, Mandy and I have discussed it and maybe I've told you guys already, but I forgot. Um, we have decided to reorder the series so that the next book that comes out is actually going to be book launches or book releases. So no official title, no official anything except that I am working on writing that. Um, and if you guys watched my 2019 wrap up, then you know that I'm trying to take things slower. Um, and Mandy is too. <laughs> we both are like, we can't keep going all out like this and not get burnt out. And we don't want to burn out. We want to enjoy the writing field. So. I have no idea. Well, I have an idea of when we want the release to be, but I'm not going to announce it here. I'm just going to tell you that I'm writing it. I'm working on writing it. The next thing, of course, is that I want to edit and publish The Cursed Hunter, which has a pre-order date of June 30th. <laughs> I had to think about that. And then I also want to edit and publish The Enchanted Crown, which has a pre-order date of TBD, <laughs> as in to be determined. Um, and so those two, they're written, but they need to be edited and just carved out and figured out and plot holes filled in and prettified and all that. And I really want to take my time with them, which is why I pushed the pre-order, even though The Curse Hunter is a novella. And I could probably do it in three months a lot easier than the Ginny Key. I could probably edit it and get it ready to go. 
I just think that I want to take my time and so I'm gonna do six months and then if that's pushing it if that feels too stressful and strenuous then I'll do even further for the enchanted crown or if I somehow manage to get ahead of the game and I'm able to work on the enchanted crown also then that has a hopeful release date in 2020 and of course i also have a couple goals i hope to hit 100 reviews on the stolen kingdom the first book in the series because if that goes well then once all four books in the series are out i want to do a book bub ad and i just know that 100 reviews and up tends to give a book a lot more credibility it's something that i just really really am excited about i don't have a lot of control over it besides being like hey guys do you want to review? Have you read it? Do you want to review? And like bugging the heck out of you guys to review. So I just, I hope it's more of a hope. All right. The next section is events. And this one's kind of bare right now because I haven't committed to anything. Um, but I do have three that I'm kind of keeping in mind that I hope will work out maybe. And that is of course the Wanda Riders retreat is in November this year. It's over NaNoWriMo. Um, the book con, um, I kind of want to go to it, but I decided that if I do go to it, I would really like to step back and be an attendee because I really, really wanted to go to the panels and all the cool book signings and meet authors and just like explore all the cool stalls and stuff. And so Mandy and I talked about it and I was like, I don't know if I want to go, but if I do, I really want to go as an attendee and I'll support her in selling and like help her sell her books. But I just want to be kind of free this year this coming year if I go there because last year we barely left the booth and that was really fun but I really 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 wanted to experience book on and so then the third one is that I probably will do another Barnes and Noble signing I've talked to the Blaine store and we're excited about that so again TBD no nothing nailed down yet that leads to platform and so again this is tricky because do I write down like numbers goals, I don't really have a lot of control over that. That's all you guys. Like if you like the content and you share with your friends and you tell people, then my platform grows. And if I don't do good content, then it doesn't grow. So I guess one of my goals would be to do good content. And I have some super exciting ideas for videos on this platform. I get a lot of emails from people who want me to just like go back to the basics. And so as scary as that is, I do want to try to do that because I do want to help you guys with what you actually need. So I kind of want to do a diversified thing where I kind of start at the beginning but then I touch on the middle of the writing process and then the end of it the publishing side and the marketing side and then I also kind of want to touch on some videos that are not easy to talk about um, things like author tube and where it's going and um, hate comments versus constructive criticism and things like that that are not necessarily easy to talk about but I think that it's worth talking about and sometimes the hard stuff is what we really need to hear so very excited for where that's going i have a goal i was going to try to double my videos in 2020 but like i talked about in the 2019 wrap-up video i don't want 2020 to be a year where i overdo it and burn out again and feel overwhelmed all the time so instead i'm just going to say 50 videos again a video a week and if I do more, awesome. I also want to keep doing exclusive videos for my patrons. So like I just did a video on my total book sales all since I started publishing. Um, but I also want to bring in live streams over on Patreon because they are requesting those. So I kind of want to do like a mix, I think. Um, and then I have some tangible goals like crossing 10k on youtube and 10k on instagram because i'm getting close to that so i feel like it's okay to put that as a goal even though i have no control over that again um, but then i have other goals that i do have control over and so these are things like i want to stop looking at the nasty comments here on youtube altogether and i've already started this goal in 2019 because um, i turned off the notifications and so now my goal and my plan and i have to give a shout out to meg latour for helping me with this over from iWriterly is to only look at a certain number of comments i think like the first 100 right now of comments that come in on a video and i will answer those people because i want to answer you guys um, and those tend to be from people who actually care about me and are kind and thoughtful comments and then at a certain point i just i'm gonna stop looking at them and just never go back to look at that video and so that way when the nastier comments come in from the trolls i just don't see them and so that's a goal i also want to create limits for social media uh, i don't want to 
spend my mornings on social media anymore i tended to start the day with that kind of do like my you know promoting the book and all the fun social media things but they actually kind of suck the joy out of creating and so i kind of want to limit myself on that i guess basically my goal here is to not worry about quantity as much as quality so i still want to keep posting i still want to keep showing up but i want it to be instead of being like i have to be on there every single day um which i might still on instagram because i love instagram but instead of being like i have to do you know this 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 and this to succeed and beat the algorithm and whatnot i'm just going to be like i'm going to bring the best content that I can and help people as much as I can and let the rest take care of itself because if you're helping people if you're giving value I think that really will take care of itself and um, people will see that that's my goal is to just focus on giving value and helping people and on on my books and like on talking about my books and letting people know they exist instead of worrying about numbers and growth and things that honestly don't matter that much numbers aren't paying me anything so i should not worry about them so much in the other category i have right at the top of the list i have stop giving a crap what people think and i honestly um i know this is kind of an out there goal that's hard to pin down but i just don't want to let a million other voices influence me because they're all conflicting and it's paralyzing and i just don't really want to care anymore i just want to do what I know that I'm supposed to do. I still want to obviously have the people who I trust give me their opinions and advice, and I also want to be there for them. But other than that, total strangers, their opinion is none of my business, and I don't care. I don't care anymore. I also put create for the joy of it and not for others. So this is kind of tied in, it's kind of the same thing, but I just wanted to focus on creating again and stop worrying about others opinions and worry about creating and doing what I love so they're kind of connected but they're a little bit different I also put that I want to continue to support my patrons I put this as a goal because I actually really want to pour my energy into just helping them and just showing up for them as much as I can I put that as a goal on here because I really want to be even more intentional like I've always been really intentional about wanting to help them but I just really want it to be a focus in 2019 2019 2020 <laughs> to um just show up for them and support them and continue to help them with whatever they need and so to kind of let them guide my content like if they they've been asking for more of the you know writing 101 show versus tell underwriter overwriters they've been asking questions like that and so i'm like all right that's what my content is going to start being is what they need and then of course i also want to help my critique partners Brittany wang and jesse elliott because going into 2020 they have some super exciting book goals and so i just put in here i really want to support them and be there for them i also want to read at least 30 books again in 2020. I keep almost saying 2019, that's gonna be difficult. Um, and then I have a few other personal goals in here that just are like for my health and where I wanna go in 2020 and things I'm excited about. So that's pretty much it. This video is of course longer than I planned because I can't seem to do a short video, but I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe, like I always say, to that little red box right there if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye.